If you've never sat by a mountain stream with a box full of pencils and a sketchbook, you might want to put it on your to-do list. That bag I'm carrying has all the gear I need to sit and enjoy a sketch in this beautiful and peaceful place. Thing number one is a light and compact camping stool. This one was made by GCI Outdoors. Most of the other things I'll need are in this box. But I got a few more things in this bag as well. I'll show you those as we go along. Sitting on the stool with the box in my lap is the easiest way to sketch. And a bit later I'll show you how I use the same box with a tripod, which has other advantages. I'll show you what's in my bag and box while I sketch this river. Having a bunch of art gear is pointless if you don't use it, so we're going to use it while we talk about it. Deal? So inside this box I carry mostly pencils. This pouch should be enough, but sometimes I have a few extra in my bag, like with this pencil roll. For this sketch, I'm using the Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer water-soluble pencils to start with. And I spend a fair amount of time trying to get this composition just right. Pencils are good for that. That bridge is kind of the focal point, and I'm working to get that perspective just right. I spent a lot of time putting various colors down with the dry pencil, and it's looking like a good start. Since I do use water-soluble pencils, I also carry paint brushes. I prefer inexpensive synthetic brushes because they don't hold as much water, which is my preference with this sketchbook. I also have this water cup and a cool magnet to hold the cup in place so it doesn't spill. As mentioned, I don't like a lot of water in my brush, so I'm wiping it off a lot before I wet the pigment from the pencils. I'm experimenting with this technique, especially since the sketchbook doesn't have very thick paper. Too much water will make it buckle. So it's probably not surprising that I carry cameras in my bag. I'm obviously taking this video with one. But this particular camera with the zoom lens is more for wildlife I might see. I love to identify birds like this red-naped sapsucker. And I was lucky enough to get a great shot of this mountain goat nearby. These photos serve as great reference material, and I can't wait to attempt to paint from them when I get back home. But back to the painting of this river and this bridge. Getting outside to sketch and paint is one of my favorite activities, and this lightweight setup is not a bad way to go. The water-soluble pencils are super portable and combine the convenience of sketching and the fun of painting. I really like how wetting the pigment just makes the piece come alive. You can also see that I switched the box to easel mode. That lid is a great way to prop up the painting so I can look at it and the scene I'm painting at the same time. I also have with my bag of tricks a tripod. I'll show you really quick how that works. It's a pretty inexpensive lightweight one, so nothing fancy there. I modified the box to have a tripod attachment, and even though the tripod adds a bit of weight to the bag, it's sometimes nice to be able to have that box off my lap. It also allows me to stand when I want, but I'm going to stay sitting for most of this one. Since that bridge was kind of important, I spent a lot of time on it, and I thought I had it looking pretty good, at least perspective-wise. But I messed it up by overworking it. The problem with water-soluble pencils is they tend to bleed and spread when you don't want them to, especially when the paper is still damp. And I inadvertently added too much height to the far end of that bridge, so it looks a little wonky. I should have switched to the non-water-soluble pencils sooner, since they tend to have a bit more control, and you'll see in a minute that I'm going to use those for the final phase of this. But first, I want to show you a new trick of mine. I started carrying a tube of white gouache paint in my box to allow me to brush some white over the areas I want to fix or highlight. This was the first time I tried it, actually. And it seemed to work pretty well for me. So don't be afraid to try it on one of your sketches. A little bit seemed to go a long way, and since this was the first time trying this, I don't have a lot of advice here other than it was a fun thing to explore, so explore art. After things dried sufficiently, I moved on to the non-water soluble pencils. I'm using mostly the Derwent drawing pencils, but I wish I would have brought a few others for some other color choices. I try to keep things lightweight and compact by bringing fewer pencils, but I haven't quite settled on the perfect mix of colors. Each scene is so different, so I'm not sure I ever will. That's why I'm not opposed to finishing a painting at home because you never know what you might want to touch up when you look at it later. So the final thing I'll show you is this bag. 
It's the Mountain Smith Day model of their lumbar pack lines. A link is in the description. And it's just the right size for carrying the art box as well as a snack and drink. The tripod attaches to the bottom and the stool is under that front flap. It also carries all my cameras so I can make these silly little videos. If you haven't already, you need to watch this video about how I made that sketch bot. So be sure to check that one out here. Oh, and this silly little pose is how I made that thumbnail. That's good enough, right? Thanks for exploring art with me.